God for the haters. Funny thing, also over the week, and um, I talked about this yesterday with Chief, um, J.R. Smith yeah. throwing soup at Damon Jones. And I, I remember, I, I kind of vividly remember Damon Jones as a basketball player, mm -hmm. you know, with the Cavs and LeBron's, yeah. you know, early years and all that. He seemed like, he seemed like the kind of what guy. What is he doing that, now? He like coaching now? Yeah, he's like I mean, I one of the coaches be. on the yeah, staff. I guess he got to be. But he seemed like, to me, anyway, and I could be wrong, but Damon Jones, to me, seems like he's one of those brothers that's all about the ladies and, you know, don't want to fight nobody, don't want no smoke with Who, nobody. Who, J.R. Smith? No. Oh, Damon, uh, Damon Jones. Jones. Okay. Damon Jones. He, he seemed like that type of cat. Man, I, I got to tell you, when I first heard about this incident, if it's, if it's true, I'm thinking to myself, we as the black community need to celebrate J.R. Smith throwing a bowl of soup at Damon Jones. What? And, and, and here's the reason why. Because let that have been another atmosphere workplace. Let that have been another form of work someplace. Nigga would have been up out of there quick in a hurry, man. Hold on. Let's, let's, be, let's, be, real. let's, be, let's be real about this. Hold on. A, a nigga, a nigga would have been kicked out the office, pink slip, fired, get out of here. But the fact that J.R. Smith threw a bowl of soup at an assistant coach and still kept his job. Yeah, I think it's different. Man. I think it's different in sports, though, bro. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I, I get it. LeBron that, might yeah. got something to do with it. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I, you can't. I can't compare that to. to I get it. Yeah. Well, I'm not sports. comparing it. I'm just saying. I don't think. Let, I don't think that's that, a big deal. I don't. I don't think him keeping his job is a big deal. Um, I don't. I, well, I, I in think some in some I people's think, eyes, it might be. I think that the nigga do soup. I mean, I think wild shit happen like that all the time. Like, I think I really think wild shit like that happens all the time. In sports, well, it's yeah. like we excuse. Yeah, we excuse. I, I agree with that. I don't that. know why. I don't know. But why. also, also niggas get cut depending on who you are. Not in sports. N niggas get cut. Not in sports. Lucky Whitehead got cut. Lucky Whitehead got cut. Yeah, Where did he get cut. Oh, cut from the team. From got the you, team. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about he got cut like no sliced. <laughs> Lucky Lucky Whitehead yeah. got cut and the nigga ain't even do nothing. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So man, we gotta we gotta celebrate this in some way. I, that I'm that a black man yeah, kept his job shit. in the NBA, man. That's some normal shit. You know how much the NBA need us. That's some normal shit to me. They they recognize <laughs> that they need Jr. Smith, even though he yeah I get yeah, it. They, they ain't I doing get it. Yeah, I mean Jr. is a streaky they go, shooter. They, they slapped him on the wrist, like they did. They slapped him on the wrist and was like, "All right, nigga, please don't do this again for, before we have to replace you." But I nah, he all right. I ain't gonna front though. Damon Jones, if I'm that nigga, I'd be ready to shoot the five with him. He could have. I'm tell you. I tell you what. If he was, um, if he was averaging 25 a game, he could have pissed on Damon Jones and then just got suspended for a game. It well, would have been like, well, yeah. It, I mean, it, it, it,